Well, look, thank you so much and uh, certainly acknowledge uh, that we are standing on uh, traditional lands of the uh, traditional owners, the First Nation people. Uh, acknowledge uh, uh, what the RMS has done uh, for this project. I was a little bit disappointed when the RMS changed its name from the DMR. My parents always used to tell me that DMR stood for Denise, Michael and Robin and we always used to see the signs all over the place. Then they become the RTA and that was so now it's RMS. But anyway, uh, kids will believe anything. But uh, communities sometimes believe anything too and when they get in and fight and pitch hard for something like this and then achieve it, it means their advocacy has actually worked. And uh, as Lee Parker from The Beagle told me, uh, the community uh, bypassed local and state government and went straight to the top, straight to federal government and, uh, and campaigned hard for this and today uh, the opening of it is a very special day for locals, for Bedella, for Maruya for, and especially for Chiros Head. So uh, well done to the locals. Uh, really delighted to, to be here with Liz Innes, the local mayor uh, and certainly Katrina Hodgkinson. Been a great friend of mine for many, many years. She's uh, put a hand up for the Nationals for the seat of Gilmore and it's this sort of delivery, this sort of community advocacy that uh, she, I know, is going to be such a fighter and such a champion for too. Uh, oh, it's also Rob has uh, done a lot for regional development. Thank you for doing that. I know you're, uh, you're championing these causes. We'll continue uh, no matter what hat you wear. Uh, acknowledge the people who actually uh, built the road. Uh, we should never forget, or built the intersection, uh, should never forget those people who actually put their, their shoulder to the shovel and, uh, and get these things done. And, uh, and there's a little bit of interesting local history in there, and that's that I come from Wagga Wagga, and uh, Hector McWilliam, of course, after whom the intersection is named, was a real estate agent at Wagga Wagga many, many decades ago, but saw the beauty of this area as Katrina Hodgkinson has done and decided to make this area home. And he lived at Fidella uh, for many, many years. He made this area his home. Uh, why wouldn't you want to be here? It is a beautiful part of the world, beautiful part of New South Wales. And, uh, and I know that this beautiful part of the country is going to have a fighter in Katrina Hodgkinson. So getting right behind her campaign, as we head towards the next election, it's these sorts of infrastructure investments that the federal government makes, and Liberal Nationals make, as part of our $75 billion record infrastructure rollout that save lives, that get people home sooner and safer. And I'm just proud to be here today to officially open it. It's well done to all concerned. Well done, thank you. Hey, you know what? We're here today and it's an incredible day for Chiros community. We've just had the opening of the intersection at the highway here, which we all know communities work so very hard to make sure that it's safe for everyone. But on this fantastic day, we also need to take a minute to recognise Anne Sudmalis. And Anne has stood up for our local community and made sure that this was delivered. And it was said, by, said today that, you know, the community bypassed all those levels of government that might have got in the way, went straight to Anne and she delivered. So Anne, we're just acknowledging you today. Thank you.